Hey, up next on the Marmy Rock Show, glad to have these guys back. We've got Dorian and Hercules all the way from Athens, Greece. They're in the band Ghost Season. Their album, Like Stars in a Neon Sky, is out now. Guys, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having us, man. Hey, it's, it's my pleasure. We've enjoyed following your band very much. So um, update folks a little bit about what's going on. Tell folks about Like Stars in a Neon Sky. Is this your first full-length record? That's that's true. Yeah, uh, it came out uh, like uh, ten days ago uh, through Pavement uh, Entertainment. As you may know, uh, it's an American uh, record label. So we are pretty excited about it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It has amazing names. This label, you know, it has like names like Flow and Dantrick and uh, Seasons After. You know, probably bands that you have already interviewed. You know, <laughs> I know you, man. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We're good friends with Seasons After, man. Uh, uh, Tony's a great guy, so yeah, um, yeah. I'd love to see you guys get over here and uh, uh, tour with some of those bands. Do you think that uh, being on this label now is going to be the key to getting you over to the states? We hope so. We hope so. We we, we want it. So if uh, any opportunities arise, yeah, we'll gladly take it, man. Because you know, America is. Uh, a little bit far away from Europe, from Greece, from where we are, and uh, it's a little bit difficult, you know, for a starter band like we are, you know. Um, it needs a lot of money too, you know. It's it's a whole different situation than touring here in Europe, you know. Yeah, gonna... But it would be it would be a dream come true, man. Yeah, you, you never know. Yeah, what is the biggest barrier? Is it the financial barrier, or is it just the, the getting the name recognition here? Uh, look, first of all, I think it's the it's the money, it's the money barrier, you know, because I mean, Lang is bad, you know, we all work, okay, and uh, only the tickets, you know, to buy only the tickets to come there, to come to the US, it's about a thousand euros and a thousand and two hundred euros per person, so it's a little bit out of our reach, you know, but. Uh, of course, it's our first album. You know, we don't expect so many big to do so so much so much big steps. You know, to come to the US once. You know, um, you know we're a, we're a young band. You know, we haven't toured outside Greece never again, ever again. Sorry for my English. <laughs> oh, you're good. No worries. Um, yeah, the recognition. I think you know, if you tour with this band, uh, you know, seasons after, and you know. Uh, label mates, let's say, label bands, uh, it will come, I hope, you know, but first of all, it's the it's the money, man, the money, it's, it's a huge barrier, you, you, you know the situation in Greece either way, it's a little bit, so if you, if you manage to get to the US and uh, follow a big tour. Hey, uh, you guys got a music video out now for Fade Away, why don't you tell us about that video, where you shot it and all about it? Uh, we started uh, in, uh, in Athens. Yeah, uh, here in Athens, Greece, and uh, from some good friends of ours, you know, called uh, GNP Production. Yeah, and uh, it was a long, long uh, hours <laughs> day. Away. You know, like we started uh, five in the noon, and we finished it uh, like uh, five in the morning the next day. Yeah, it was uh, a straight uh, thing. So. Too tiring, but uh, I think the result is good. It came out really well, guys. We like it a lot. Now, the tune that I uh, gravitated to, I think you know this, it's already our number two tune on our chart right now, is War of Voices. Uh, it's actually my favorite one so far, so tell me a little bit about that tune. Uh, for, first of all, thank you very much for you know spinning our song on, uh, on air. And, uh, you know, it's a huge support to us, man. Thank you very much for you know playing our song. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad you like War of Voices. It has this uh, Iron Maiden-ish kind of vibe, doesn't it? I, I think it's accurate. That might be what drew me to it. Yeah, uh, it has this weird, like, Steve Harris's bass lines and these guitars, this, like, uh, twin guitars and all this stuff inside. It's pretty cool. I think it's my favorite from the album, too, to tell the truth. I don't know. How about you? Uh... I don't know. I, I like Vampire a lot. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you ask me, um, there's no particular song that I love very much. I like, I, I truly like um, 
songs uh, yeah. like break my chains I, I like moments in the songs i love all the songs but there are moments in each song that i truly love as a performer you know uh, but uh, what i would like to say as dorian was saying uh, thank you very much for the support it's very important because in europe and particularly in greece uh, you don't have uh, bands with alternative metal, modern metal, you know. Yeah, especially in Greece. Yeah. It's more uh, out, let's say, outdated, like 80s heavy metal and, yeah. and stuff like this. So, uh, let's say that our target group is uh, you guys. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you invented uh, this modern metal. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, and you guys, are uh, we're spreading the word as much as we can over here about you guys. Hey, I saw something cool on your page. You're working with some kind of professional wrestling organization or something? Um, yes, this was... A, <laughs> it was a, it's funny. Yeah, it was really funny because, you know, here, here my singer uh, came and told me that, you know, I have some friends that, uh, you know, they do like this pro kind of wrestling here in Greece. And I was like, what the... Do we have wrestling here in Greece? And he was like, yeah, man, we have. I didn't know. But yeah, it's a new promotion here, you know, it's called uh, Smack, Smack Wars or something, huh? am I right? It's, uh, the name is Smack, how we say Smackdown, you have in the US, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, with a Z, yeah, and uh, with a K at the end. So, uh, you know, he told me that, you know, they're searching for a, this guy's searching for a heavy metal theme song or something, and you know, if we're able to give them like uh, a song from the, from the album to put like a, their theme song in every show that they're doing now in like the, in the whole like 2017 year and you know of course we're like guys take it you know <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing it it's, was, a, it's amazing because uh, you know you have uh, the first and only pro wrestling promotion in Greece actually yesterday asking uh, for your uh, song yeah it's it's uh, it's it's amazing you know we had uh, we, we went yesterday yeah uh, in the event and uh, you had the whole arena, you know, vibes of ghost season. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was nice, yeah. It looked like you guys were having a good time there. So, um, hey, I want to direct people that want to support you guys and buy your stuff. I noticed something cool, and, and I hope this is right. It looks like when you click on your merch store here that you guys are actually offering a free worldwide shipping. Is that correct? Yeah, we offer uh, free shipping worldwide, you know. You know, we're trying to do what is uh, what we can, man, for you know, for people to to reach Ghost Season and to to learn us, you know, to to listen to the music and see who we are and just you know, we're trying to do the best to to spread the word out there, man. Especially in you guys, you know, there in the U.S. You know, your you know the people there are amazing, man. You know, the fans that you have, guys. I mean, you know, I'm pretty jealous, man. We don't have this kind of fan base. <laughs> Yeah, well, I point it out because I want people to, you know, they're going to hear that you're from Athens, Greece, and I don't think, oh, my gosh, what will it cost to get a T-shirt? But, no, you can actually go online and uh, get the T-shirt at, at regular, like, U.S. prices. So, good for you. Yeah. To tell you the truth, you know, I didn't care about the, the shipping cost, man. You know, it was like, guys, you know, it's cool. Uh, uh, you know, as, as people know, know the, you know, listens to the music, you know, it's really cool. I don't care about the cost. I don't care about the shipping cost and stuff. We're trying to be really nice with this stuff, you know. I don't want, you know, if it were, if it was my position, you know, I didn't want to, I wouldn't want to to buy a CD like for ten euros and pay another ten euros for the shipping cost. So you know, I do, you know, I do it like I want. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English now. Like I want it to be done. How do you call this? Uh, well, I think the the th the whole thinking in the band is that uh, people can easily buy our album online. They can have the digital form, uh, you know. So if someone goes and says that I want a physical CD, we want to give it as cheap as possible, you know. So it's important for us when someone wants the physical copy. Uh, so we, we consider it as a loyal fan, you know, like, a, like a, you know, you try to, you know, to treat your, your fans, you know, uh, as, 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 as good as you can, you know. As a gesture of kindness, 
you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I want to make sure people go over there and find Ghost Season. Uh, the best place to go yeah. probably, I guess, is your Facebook page. And um, hey, one last thing: Are you guys um are you going to be doing any touring over there in Athens or over in Greece anytime soon? Well, we well, hope you know we have some uh, some, some plans. Yeah, something is in. Uh, there's nothing on paper yet, but uh, you know we'll have some plans about uh, May, June, or something here in Greece. Probably September or October or something. We'll go for a European tour. Of course, there's nothing on paper yet, but uh, we'll do something in Europe. Uh, for, for summer, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult because of the big fests. And uh, but for now, yes, we have some plans. Uh, we are on the works. We'll see. We'll see. Well, uh, hey, guys, this has been uh, Dorian and Hercules from Ghost Season. We've enjoyed following you guys for the couple, for the couple years we've known each other now. So um, I appreciate you taking the time being on the show. And there's a big time difference between us. So uh, thanks so much for being here. We thank you, man, for this whole opportunity. You know, it's a, it's a big thing for a, for a U.S. station, man, to, you know, to have us. And I really appreciate the support, man. Like, respect, you know. Thanks a lot for everything. Hey, man, the pleasure's all ours. Uh, Dorian and Hercules, man, thanks again, guys. Thank, Thank you, man. Man.